You're going to hear the coffee pot in the background, but right now I just cannot be bothered to care. So here we are, phone video. I've like literally, <laughs> I don't have much of anything anymore because, you know, quarantine hit and I tried to really downsize and, you know, I thought I could let this YouTube channel go and you know, move on with my business, but apparently I just cannot, I just cannot let it go. And so here we are recording on my phone and I'm trying desperately to figure out what I want to do with this channel because I can't do, I can't do comic book reactions anymore because I'm not buying comic books anymore because I'm taking, you know, the comic book writers and, and artists and things. I'm taking them at their word. You know, when they say that they don't want my money, I'm taking them at their word and I'm not giving them them I'm not giving them my money because I kind of had I kind of had a thought and you know that thought was why am I spending money on entertainment that you know is designed to just lecture values at me values that I don't agree with values that I'm not going to agree with and so you know like this quarantine has just been so like interesting and I thought that I could wait it out but it's just been going on and on and on and on to I've kind of had to reach a point where it's like I need to I need to decide what I'm gonna do and I need I needed to decide how I was going to tackle this channel. I'm, you know, still very interested in doing, you know, my own stories and things like that. And, you know, and I, <laughs> like I know I've said it before, it's been a bit of a, it's been a bit of a nightmare because I've not been able to read quite like I used to be able to read because, you know, authors <laughs> authors kind of lost their mind after Trump got elected and I didn't want to engage in that insanity so you know my reading has been really down and you know life has really kind of changed a bit so I'm now <laughs> you know doing slightly different things than I was before but you know I'm still a writer I'm still a storyteller. I'm still someone who is infinitely interested in the storytelling process. I, you know, still, you know, try to get some drawing in and, you know, I'm still, I guess I'm still me to a degree and I like to talk about things. And so, you know, I kind of have reached a point where it's like, you know, quarantine being quarantine, why not just take the chance to do me like doing drama reaction channels like i may watch them occasionally but that i'm not really interested in doing that like because it's just not interesting to me to talk about long term comic books and things like that after a while when you know when they're terrible and i don't want to waste my, i don't want to waste my money anymore that doesn't mean that i don't back certain projects on Kickstarter or Indiegogo, although that has gone way down as well. Um, you know, like currently Earthworm Gem 2 is on Kickstarter and so I backed that. And so there are some things that I've gotten that, you know, I can share so I can still, I, I'm still going to do some reviews of products that I've backed on Kickstarter and Indiegogo. So I'm really excited for that. And you might be hearing the baby monitor because there's a baby sleeping and she's trying to wake herself up. And I'm hoping that she gets some extra sleep because <laughs> I really need her to sleep. But yeah, so, you know, like I'm, I'm kind of in this process right now where, you know, I, I don't have you know, the editing software that I used to have. I don't have the cameras and things like that, that, you know, I need to get good quality 
reviews going. I don't have the tripod anymore because apparently that, you know, got messed up. So, you know, I, I'm trying to figure, like, I'm trying to figure things out and I'm trying to be cost effective because I can't afford to just, you know, go out of my way and keep spending a ton of money on a YouTube channel that at the end of the day is more of a hobby than me trying to make this my job. So, you know, I'm only willing at this point to invest so much. So I guess we'll kind of see what happens with it. Um, yeah, that's <laughs> kind of been, you know, that's kind of been the place that I'm at. I'm just, I'm over, I'm over the quarantine. I'm really over the quarantine. I'm over this whole messiness. You know, I'm over the comic thing because, you know, if you're, if you're going to paint everyone with the same broad brush and you're going to make everyone out to be evil that doesn't agree with you. And that goes for the Black Lives Matter thing as well, because I am not a fan of the Black Lives Matter movement. It doesn't matter that I'm black. You know, I, I still say I, we can talk about police brutality, but to just automatically assume that everything is racist and about racism, especially when, you know, I live in Chicago and all of these kids are being killed out here and I'm not seeing these same Black Lives Matter protesters. So you don't really give a care about Black people because you don't give a care about the Black people who are really being hurt. And I'm tired of watching these people riot. I'm tired of watching them loot. I'm tired of being told that we need to give them ex to give them excuses, you know, because their circumstances are leading them to do these things where the reality is I'm poor myself. Like I would say that I'm poor myself and you don't see me out there rioting and looting because I make that choice not to do that. Like I make the choice to want to work for something on my own. And so like, I'm, I'm tired of the excuses. I'm tired of all of this. And so, you know, although I, I you know, it's like, although I'm kind of like in that place where it's like, do I really just want to like, am I really going to go back into doing YouTube videos when like life just keeps, when life just seems to keep changing over and over and over again. And the reality is, you know, right now, I don't know that I can afford not to. Not that I'm trying to get, like, not that I'm trying to worry about monetization or anything like that, because I'm really not, because I just don't see, like, I don't see YouTube, I don't see wanting to make YouTube a job. I, I don't, I really don't see YouTube as wanting to be, as wanting it to be a job. But I do believe that it is a platform that for me as a writer, as someone who, you know, is getting into drawing and things like that, as someone who wants to sell their work, that it probably is going to be, you know, kind of important in a way just to be able to build an audience, get that kind of interaction and, you know, just be able to have that. So yeah, I'm, I'm bare bones in it, but you know, that's, kind of the way a lot of people start and I have to remind myself that that's kind of the way that a lot of people started so yeah here's <laughs> kind of I guess where I am with it and you know I always say let's see what happens but I keep coming I keep coming back to making YouTube videos so obviously there is that part of me that really just wants to do the YouTube video so I'm doing it I guess <laughs> I guess I, I I guess so whatever that's that's me doing me and yeah see you on the next video